You're in the flow with Rev Skip. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of In the Flow with Rev Skip. And of course, I'm Rev Skip. And when you're in the flow, you got to have faith that transformation can happen. Love yourself through the process. Be open and willing to have a new experience in your own transformation. And I am very excited because I didn't see that new part of the opening that Diego created. And that is just like fire. I love it. I love it. Diego, come on in, man. Please get in here. You you <laughs> surprise <Good> morning, Rev. <laughs> <laughs> you surprise me every time. I love that special guest that you had. Um, uh, Dorothy Inez's name come up there. I went. Where did that come from? <laughs> every week, trying to up level, trying to get it a little. We're, it's still forming. You know, we're in the flow. We just got to let it expand. As our guest reminded me several times today, we ain't trying. We doing. We doing it, yo. That's we it. doing it. That's it. <laughs> I want to welcome everyone into In the Flow right here on the New Thought Media Network, which I am a family member of. So proud of the work that we we get to do. And last week we had on um, Red Briz, and I learned a lot about him, and also learned a lot about the mission of this network. And I'm so grateful that I get to do it right here. And Diego, how's your week been, brother? Oh, fabulous. Uh, yeah, rolling right along. It's gotten a little chilly. Things are starting to go, starting to get some weather coming through this weekend. Yeah. But other than that, it's been great. Okay. Spring. Just it's spring and spring. <laughs> spring and spring. You know, I, I will share this with you, brother. I had, and we, we have, I've been on shows here in the network where we really talk about what's really happening. You know, um, you know, ministers talking beep. And um, we got to go in the reel down, the, the get down, get down. And on the radio show that I do with Faith Rivera and also Reverend Jackie Fernandez, had a moment on Tuesday, brother, that um, we saw another shooting in uh, Minnesota mm -hmm. during this trial of uh, Derek Chauvin. And, um, and we saw a shooting of um, Dante Wright, another person that was gunned down in the street. And it, it just, I, I went through a dark, depression it was a mini dark night of the soul mm -hmm. and this week has been kind of tough for me brother i understand yes I've, I've, and you I've, guys have some shootings in colorado recently too that has touched us in the world yeah they're definitely a huge run in boulder just not more even a month ago yeah some powerful well, stuff here maybe right about a month ago yeah, yeah. But I'm better today. And I know that every day I'm getting better. I'm feeling better. And I know that these are the lessons that we are learning to learn how to get along, brother. Right. You know? And yeah, we're all, hopefully society is figuring out the, the questions that a yeah. lot of us have really just kind of put in the back of our mind and not really thought about for a long while. And we're realizing that now we really need to bring it into consciousness. We do. And, you know, one of the things that I, I met you at Agape International Spiritual Center in Culver City at the time, and that's where I met you. And I always say that is a very special experience where we have people from different religions and different backgrounds and genders and sexuality all coming together as one in a, in a field of love. And that has been the reminder of what can be and that's what good. could be and what really is in the mind of God. When we focus on that, we really all all are one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm wearing a new T-shirt. Oh, I love it's that. It's my care. You love this? It's I my do. cares T-shirt. <laughs> Part of the new T-shirt line that we have launched. Um, Where does someone find something like that? <laughs> well, pop it up there. I love that. You can find that at Shop Rev Skip. And um, grab your T-shirts because 10% of what we do, every T-shirt that we sell goes to some organization that's making a difference in the world. So we have the Black Collection and 10% of the proceeds will go to, um, we, we, it goes to um, Justice LA. And then we have another um, line called the Chakra Line and 10% of that actually goes to Kalumba in Motion. And that's Ricky Byers' um, foundation to help kids understand their creative force 
within them. So we're making a difference, brother. We're making a difference. Can, can, are you there? And I can't hear you. Yes, I, oh, oh sorry, there you go. I popped That's okay. out there. I, I was getting all excited about showing your... <laughs> I know. You're doing such an amazing job. So I'm inviting everyone, please go and help us to make a difference on this planet. You can go to um, Shop Rep Skip and you can get your actual In the Flow t-shirt. We have a t-shirt that says Flow, Faith, Love, Openness, and Willingness. And um, 10% of that will actually go to our network to help us to continue to do things on the, on the network here. So we are just making a difference and that's what it's all about yes. making a difference. And I could not do this without you brother. So again, I like to start off each show by thanking you with your incredible, like uh, your, your editing and everything you do, which I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do it. It's a remix version over here and having focus over here. So I, I just Guys, want to thank you. This is co-creation in action. <laughs> I love this it. This is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, my brother. I really, really appreciate you. Bless and now you. it's time for. We're going to get that right. And now it's time for. We are so working our time with that. We're going to get that right, Diego, one day. We're going to go, and it's time for, and wake up wellness, wellness, wake up, and rep skip is going to pop up. But we're, we're learning how to do this, so I'm so grateful. Our wake up wellness, wellness, wake up with rep skip, skip today is four things that you can do today to shift your life and your wellness practice. Number one, eat well. When you talk about eating well, we're talking about the sun-infused foods. We're talking about the colors of the rainbow. We're talking about fruits. We're talking about um, 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 vegetables. We're talking about all the things that brings life into us. Eating well, meaning that you understand that you are divine, so you're willing to eat. You're willing to eat well. Number two, get moving. We need to eat less and move more. And the more that we move, the more that the body will connect. The body will connect with the movement. Number three, find balance in your life. So you got to have time for working hard, but you got to play harder. You got to find the balance for family. And number four is sleep more. Can we sleep more? And I got to tell you, of recent, I've been dealing with insomnia. And I just have to learn all the things I need to do, like shut my phone off. You know, don't sleep with the TV on, get the shades on, do all the things that you need to do to, to, to sleep more. Your body reacts to that. So hmm, that is our quotable ponder, or excuse me, that is our wellness wake up with Rev Skip. So we're going to move into our quotable ponder for today. And our quotable ponder comes from Angela Davis. It is a quote that Black Lives Matter has been using quite a bit. And I really love this quote from Angela Davis. It says this, I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I can accept. That's pretty powerful when you think about this. We are responsible for us waking up as a collective. So if you see something, as, 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 as um, John Lewis would say, you see something wrong, say something. It is time that we no longer will accept us being shot down in the streets for the color skin we are. We're not going to accept the excuses of, I don't know the difference between this or that. We know that change has to happen. And if I see something that I can't accept, what am I willing to do? What am I willing to do? What am I willing to bring to this planet to shift? Because I am fully responsibility for the transformation that happens within me, but also affects the collective. And that's it. That's our quotable ponder for today. So I'm excited about my guests because I got to tell you something. I was on her show on, on Wednesday and this is a force, a force of love, of energy, of, of just light. And when I was on her show, she asked some really amazing questions that got me going. And it was one of the best interviews I have had in a while. So I am so excited to talk about this next person that's coming on our guest. It is Dorothy Inez Del Tufo. And she is a three-time international best-selling author. Can you bring up her website? Because I love her website. Yeah, there you go. She's an international speaker, a confidence coach. And this is the first time I've ever heard of a confidence coach. I love that. And she helps women 
and women leaders to network and market and show up. And she's given me some insights about my bio and things. She is a real deal. And I'm excited to have this amazing conversation with my friend, Dorothy Inez. Come on in, sister. Come into the mix, please. <laughs> hey, I'm excited to be here. I was, I, I was, um, listening to you skip and you were like we doing it yo i was like that's right that's right <laughs> we are doing it how are you doing since since i just saw you what i saw you wednesday we were I doing the same stuff. thing <laughs> how, how, how are you doing from wednesday how are you doing no, i'm I'm doing, I'm doing great. You know, you know, here in Minneapolis, you know, things are a little bit interesting, but um, I'm hanging in there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're sending love. And um, I got to tell you, sis, that, that really shook me on Tuesday and Wednesday, mm -hmm. I was still feeling it, but I, I knew I wanted to show up. Um, you know, what is the energy right now with that's happening in Minnesota and everything that's going on in, 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 in that? What is what does it feel like to be living there in the midst of this right now? You know, being that I'm an empath, I can feel like when it went down, I didn't know why I was feeling this shift in, in energy. And this just just the sense of grief and deep, dark sadness. Yeah. Um, is what I'm is what I'm feeling and what the people are feeling. But what I love um, about Minneapolis and about the, the 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 black community and even our white brothers and sisters, how they're coming together mm. to really support the family, to support the community. I know my co-working space is collecting food. I remember when George Floyd, uh, that situation went down and just how the community came together. They were giving out food, clothing, um, water, uh, prayer. I mean, just so much love was happening yeah. in the midst of this darkness. And that's what I've come to learn is that even in these dark seasons, God mm -hmm. can use these times to help us grow. Because, you know, Rev always says, life is always happening for us. Yes. And it may not look the way we want it to look, but in the midst, we can always live in the question, God, what is this here to teach us? What yes. is this here to teach us? How can this help us grow? Mm. And that is the space that I have to live in, not only for this, but in my own life is where I found my power. So I don't become a victim of yeah. circumstance. And it's definitely hard when you're like you and I, you can feel the energy, the thickness of it. Um, and so when you're, you're dealing with friends, it's just like being that light. Yes, yes, yes. And, um, you know, one of the things that I, I know, just spending time with you and being in classes with you, your energy is so contagious. And even in that moment of you speaking truth, I got a chance to, yeah, remember that there is great things that we're learning from this. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I, I got to ask you about right away. What is a confidence coach? What is a confidence coach? What is this? <laughs> I knew, I, I said, when he said he never heard of a confidence coach, I knew that what was going to be <laughs> like, what is that? That's something I made up. No, just joking. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't just make it up. <laughs> so, what, you know, Skip, I've worked with women in the area. You know, I started my business being a self-love and beauty coach because I have a you know 25 years background as a makeup artist and uh, esthetician and all of that. And what I was finding as I worked with women is that they would sit in my chair and they would constantly put themselves down. Women are known for beating themselves up way more than the world could beat them up. And so when I was working on my master's there at Azusa, I decided to do a study on confidence and discovered that what I was watching women, you know, do to themselves was 
it, the core of it was confidence, who they believed that they, you know, that they are. It was like this identity crisis that correlated with what I was studying in confidence and also what I was teaching as a self-love coach. And so I decided to, you know, since I got that little thesis work that I did, I decided to hang my hat on confidence because when women would come uh, to me, they would say, man, I just don't have the confidence. And so a confidence coach really stands in the gap for in my case, for women, I stand in the gap to help them see themselves through the eyes of God, to see who God created mm. them to be. And that is what I do. And, you know, there's a lot of confidence coaches out there, but that is what I do is to help women get out of crisis of their identity and into truth that I've learned from you and all my <laughs> other mentors at Agape of who we truly are. Uh, yeah. So that's and, what, what I do as a confidence coach. And what was your um, spiritual awakening? I'm going to say, because this feels very spiritual to me. In fact, I know it is spiritual. What was your <laughs> journey in waking up um, to the confidence within you? Cause you are so confident sister. You are just <sighs> like, hello. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> well, you know, and, and it's interesting that you asked me this question, Skip, because lately I've been really posting a lot. In fact, I did a post on this yesterday, maybe yesterday, about um, people look, particularly when you see somebody, you know, who's beautiful. And, and I own, you know, I own that piece, not in an arrogant way, but people see me as beautiful. And I've come to see myself as beautiful but I didn't always feel that way, Skip. You know, growing up, being a child of mixed race, uh, being bullied by my, you know, African American uh, sisters. You know, oh, you think you're this? You think no? I, I didn't think I was this or that. Um, so dealing with bullying, dealing with abandonment. My birth mother left at the age of three, so you can imagine that left me feeling unlovable, um, not enough, and all of this growing up not feeling accepted diminished me yeah. over you know over and over being in abusive relationships with men always being cheated on well what does that say that's another message i'm not lovable i'm not good enough mm -hmm. not getting the promotions that i thought i should get again you're not good enough so at the age of 40, Skip, I went through my own dark night of the soul. I went through this transformation. This was the, the, the first part of it. I went through this transformation when my husband was deployed to F, uh, Iraq, I believe. And I was in Savannah, Georgia. And I was left alone for the first time. I had no friends because as soon as I moved there, he deployed. And here I was in this state with no friends, all alone, and couldn't do what I'd normally do is fill that gap with a man. Mm. I had to face who I was and what I realized in that moment. I cried for eight hours that day. I remember laying on the bed, balled up, crying out for my grandma, crying out for my dad. And I was like, help me, help me, God, help me, because the loneliness was so deep. And that is when I brushed my shoulders off and I was like, I heard spirit say, get up, get up. Mm -hmm. And I hired my very first coach, Skip, and that was the beginning of learning to love who God created me to be and what my purpose on this planet was because at that moment I was Inez. Yes. And it was in that moment that God changed my name to mm. Dorothy Inez. Oh, and God. Dorothy is the name of my birth mother who abandoned me. And I don't want to be called Dorothy. And so, but God said, remember what mm. your name means. Yes. Dorothy means gift of God. And Inez means with a pure heart. And that, my daughter, is who I have called you to be. And it was in that moment I had to sit there and practice saying my name, Dorothy Inez, Dorothy Inez, introducing Dorothy Inez. <laughs> oh, 
I love that. I had yes. This yes. Until, you have to get they, into practice. Yes, it was in practice. Yes, get in practice, yes, yo. Yes. And God's got jokes, right? Because every day somebody's calling me Dorothy, and I've got to be like, <laughs> no, no, it's Dorothy Inez. Please, Dorothy please. Inez. You know, I, I really <laughs> fell in love with you. We we're in a class together. I was uh, teaching a class on um, spiritual principles, and you're in class, and I really fell in love with you because of we really connected on so many levels, our upbringing of being in the Christian, you know, fundamentalist kind of Christian um, um, upbringing and going to church every day and this and this. How has that expanded for you? Because I know it's mm -hmm. different now because it's different for right. me and we've had this conversation. So right. if you could just, just tell us a little bit of that expansion coming from Christian to more expansiveness. Yes, yes. And so fast forwarding and, and I'll say um, I'll say this is I wasn't actually raised in a Christian home. I am actually the only um, Christian. Um, even as a young girl, Skip, I was called to the things of the Lord. I would just get up yeah. as a little girl. I dress, you know, you remember how you were talking on my show about <laughs> since you were little, three years old, three years old for me as well. Yeah. And I would, my grandma took me, um, but I went to Biola University and this was the transformation for me. And this is about the time you met me was right when I had, I was a Bible school dropout. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> you know that song. And because <laughs> they called me a divergent because you know me, Skip, you've been in mm. class with me. Dorothy Inez got a lot of questions. You know? Yes. Yes. And I was struggling a lot. You guys were teaching me about oneness with God. And I was like, that's blasphemous. How can I be one with God? You know, mm. um, I really grappled with that and that in some way I felt like to believe that I was one with God, that I somehow had to release um, my love for Christ and um, my love, you know, how much I love Jesus. And um, I had a lot of tears, Skip, going through this transition of what you, you know, you were teaching me, what Reverend Michael was teaching me and what the church, because I've been so indoctrinated. And um, I decided not to listen to you, not to listen to the Rev, not to listen to the church, but to listen to the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. And this is the greatest lesson. And it gave me so much freedom mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to live in that space of tapping in to, you know, I love how Reverend Michael talks about um, um, uh, meditation being like, you know, like the TMZ of heaven. He had said that one time in my class, uh, uh, meditation, evolution of consciousness, I think. And so I started thinking every time I went inside, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yes. I'm God, I'm I'm struggling with this. Show me truth. Show me truth. Always being a seeker, and that is where my mind began to shift. And the fact that with agape, you can come from any faith and talk about these things that you're grappling with in a space that's safe. And and those classes gave me freedom. Yes, yeah. Freedom yeah. to ask the questions that were so deep within me that I couldn't ask in the Christian church without being told it, it's the devil and, and all this stuff. And um, that's I very, very powerful. Me. And you, and I just want to bring light to um, Genesis is is dropped in there, um, saying powerful testimony. We have my classmate and my friend Reverend Sandra who knows you. She's checking in. She's saying hello to you as well. And we have uh, I think Wayne had a great comment up there again. Um, yes, he agrees. So we you're 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 preaching. You're 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 talking about the Holy Spirit running through us, and he's saying yes and. And that's very powerful. How okay? So I want to in this space of awakening, moving, expansiveness, because I come to love Jesus in a new way as well. Mm -hmm. I came to love Jesus as not as my savior, but as my master teacher. Mm -hmm. So in this space of your still embracing this 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 love of Jesus, what are you learning about yourself now that Jesus has taught you? 
I'm just, I, I get, uh, you know, I actually get emotional because when I think about Jesus, uh, I just love him so much. And what I'm learning about myself, Skip, is that every, Jesus came, like you said, he's the master teacher. Mm. And Jesus shows me that everything he is, I am. Because he said, you know, essentially, I did these things, but greater shall you do, Dorothy yeah. Agnes. Greater okay. shall you do. Yeah. And that is what I am learning each and every day as I tap in to who I am, the greatness within me, the, the words that come through and how my words have the ability to transform and inspire others to step yeah. into their God within. Yes. So Jesus has helped me, number one, to be free because he came to set the captives free. Mm. And so many believers are trapped. And that is what agape, I feel like agape has created like this, um, I don't know, what do you call it, Skip? Like, I'm it just, is, yeah, it is, you said, you like, know, I'm this person that blends it together. It's the quintessential experience of oneness where everything comes together and it just works. It moves, it grooves, it's, it's, it's in harmony. Um, and what you're talking about, I love, is that you're talking about an awakening Christ consciousness within you and within myself, that the Christ consciousness is awake and alive. And in this idea of this, and you already got into this, and we already talked a little bit of purpose. What is your purpose and what is purpose to you? If someone's asking you, Dorothy Inez, I, I hear this thing about purpose that Rev Skip is talking about. What's purpose and how can I find my purpose? What, <laughs> what would you what, what would you say? <laughs> well, here's what I, here's what I know. Yeah. What I know, whoever asked me that question, is what your purpose is is to serve. Ooh. Every single human being on this earth is called to serve. Now, yeah. what that looks like varies based on personality, based on skills, gifts, and talents. And so what we want to do is look at what natural skills, gifts, and talents do I have? What, because most of the time your purpose showed up as a youngster before the age of six, before people started telling you what you could and couldn't do, who you could and couldn't be. You see, yes. and so you have to go back and you have to be willing to do self inquiry and, and, and go back and find those things. Do personal, I do assessments because I love helping people to learn the language around who they are, to begin to see the gift that they bring to the, to the world. And so why are you here? You're here to serve, plain and simple. That's what Jesus did. Jesus came to yeah. serve because, yeah. see, that's my model. And you asked, you know, you said something, Skip, that I really wanted to just touch on about the Christ consciousness is one of the things that the Lord has given me is something called um, it's my signature program called Christ Confidence. Mm. Christ Confidence. Well, what is Christ Confidence? Well, see, people think they only associate Christ, you know, unless you're, you know, a little more evolved. Think of only Jesus. But Christ means one who is anointed and appointed yes. for a specific task and purpose. And so every single person has go. been anointed, has been appointed for a specific task and purpose. And what you do is you tap into that light within. Yes. And yes. that is where the confidence comes from because it's not your egoic confidence, but the confidence that comes from spirit, the divine within you. That's a, real confidence. Let's take a breath right here. We're gonna give space for some spiritual snaps there. That was awesome. <laughs> I love that. Yes. So, so <laughs> this idea of purpose, it's innately within ourselves. And part of this journey I've always felt is for me is uncovering my purpose. I love service. And we talked about this today in our Insight Timer um, live event that I do on Friday mornings. We talked about relationship, that in my relationships to this planet, I'm not here to get anything. I'm here to give everything. 
And whatever that's missing, I see is missing on this planet. Am I willing to bring it forth? I love that idea of, of service. So we're now at this point where I get to allow you to express spirit. This is the yes moment. And yes is an acronym I use for you expressing spirit. And this is the time I step back and I just let you do your thing. Coach us, coach. Give us some confidence. You expressing spirit. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even know. I mean, can you believe I'm speechless, Skip? Can you believe that? <laughs> Dorothy Inez, speechless? <laughs> you, you know, like I was saying, it. I just get into when I think about this Christ confidence. And, you know, I have, you know, Skip was on my show called Shine, Shine with Dorothy Inez. And what Shine is all about is God back in 2010. Um, was it 2010? 2011. God gave me this scripture. I was going through my Bible and I believe it was, it's in the book of Matthew. And it talks about being the salt and the light of the earth. And it talks about in that scripture also that we were not meant to be hidden under a lampshade, that we were like, we, we were called to be like a city on a hill, a city mm -hmm. on a hill. And that's when I, I, I started thinking, that's when I came out with this, um, back then I was doing this celebrity because celebrity means celebrated. And we are all born to be stars, to shine our light so bright. Mm -hmm. When he said like the city on the hill, I thought of Hollywood. I said, yes, Hollywood, that's us. We are called to be stars. We are called to let our light so shine and not to let anybody dim your light. You see, I had a situation yesterday where somebody says to me, I think you're intimidating. I think you're intimidating. And I, I, I was like, intimidating? How am I intimidating? I, I, I'm so, I, I'm so chipper. I love people, but you see, people respond to us from the place that they are in their spirit, and we have to learn that sometimes. I remember um, Lisa Nichols came on, and she was talking about shining our our light because sometimes when you shine your light so bright. Right? People ain't ready for you. People ain't ready for you. So, you know, you got to, you know, if these were shades, I would tell them here, I'd hand them a pair of shades. And I'd be like, because you see, this is what I'm here to do. And this is what you're here to do is this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Yes. Yes. This light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. And so every time somebody tries to, you know, and it may be unbeknownst to them, they're just speaking from where they are. Yeah. If anybody ever tries consciously or unconsciously to bring you down, you tap into that little song and you go, this little light of mine. Yes. And you make that your mantra. Ooh. You know that you are born to shine because the divine, the creator of all things lives in, through, and as you, the gift that is you. That's a spiritual mic drop moment right there. Oh. Wow, that, that pretty awesome. Thank you. I felt the energy. I felt that. And I'm going to be singing that song all day and all weekend now because <laughs> I won't be able to get out of my head. But I do want you to talk about the brilliant leadership fan. What is that? Well, that's actually an old name. <laughs> oh, is <laughs> <laughs> That's actually an old name. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't change the name of my, um, it used to be my LLC, Brilliant Leadership, which is, again, it goes back to that essence of being brilliant. I used to have yeah. a program called Bring Your Brilliance, which is really bring your shine, helping mm. people. Because uh, when I co do private coaching, I help people discover their shine. What are you here to do? Yes. Let's look at all your skills, gifts, and talents, and let's package those up in a yeah. way that allows you to be in service to humanity. And mm. so that's what that was, you know, all about. Because I do private and I do group coaching, yes, do. and I just love helping people 
to really show up and serve yes. in a way that's unique and that makes shift happen. I love it. And I know I know what you're doing next week. Uh, can you tell people what you're doing next week? You want to talk about this? Because this is deep, y'all. This is deep because I... I'll let you explain, then I'll tell you this connection we have. Go ahead. So you talking about my Prince thing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So next week, for, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge Prince fan. Um, and actually, he called us FAM, FAM for short for family. And I've been a part of the Prince family since 1978. Mm -hmm. And next week is the five-year anniversary that our beloved transitioned to the other side. And we are having a, from Wednesday the 21st on, we are just having event after event, a balloon launch, there's a movie uh, premiere, there's dinners, there's going through Paisley Park to pay our respects. There's just so much community happening around Prince. And, you know, Prince is my inspiration. I mean, Prince shows us how to live your life to the fullest because you see, he's been gone for five years. That's amazing. Yes, Still alive, his legacy lives on because he yes. Prince didn't give a mm about what anybody thought. <laughs> Prince is and because he did that, his yes. legacy lives on as one of the greatest of all time. And that's what we are being called to each and every human being on this planet is to be like Jesus be like Prince, people that live on forever. Physical, not here, but spirit remains. I uh, love that you, you're you just like in the Prince field and the Prince fam, because myself and our my two co-hosts on Voices of Unity, Reverend Jackie Fernandez and Faith Rivera, we are in love with Prince and the messages that he brings in the music and just the yeah. rhythm and no one can do it like Prince, man. No, no one, one no can one. do it. No one did it, and no one can repeat yeah. it. I mean, it was wow, the magic of that. So I am just like, uh, and you and he's got a new album coming out. I just got to I know. That in there. I, yes, album. he does. Yes, he does. I get the new album. They in the vault. There's enough albums, Skip, that will that they could release an album a I year know. for a century. For a century. It's just so amazing and like you said if you want to know him there was so much spirituality in those lyrics absolutely I mean, just a, just a genius and so my dad says i don't understand how you can love somebody you've never met well i kind of met him so, right you know, <laughs> music. You want to know Prince, listen to the lyrics. Signs of the time, yo. And thank you. I'm going to say something very uh, incredible. Thank you so much for buying the sweatshirt. You bought yes. a, a t-shirt and a sweatshirt, one of the purple ones. And purple is the, the chakra of, of the, the crown chakra that turns to white in the chakra collection. We have that purple one. And I am so grateful that you bought a purple sweatshirt. You're my, first, you're my first person to buy a purple sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. Gotta have that purple. <laughs> did you get sweatshirt. love on it? Did you get the love on it? Is that the one you got love? I think I did. And you know, the thing about that purple, I'll tell you why I chose a purple, not only because of Prince, but purple stands for royalty because I'm a yes. queen of my hair, okay? Okay. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> My my sister, thank you so much. And and everyone, if you want to follow Dorothy Inez, please go to Instagram, Facebook, go to her website. Then we're going to bring up that scroll across there. Um, I'm seeing. I'm just going to hit it, uh, Diego. Oh, there. See, thank you, Diego. I love Diego's you. All on it. Diego's all on it. It's like I I it, it, you know my lesson, I my biggest Diego. lesson. Exactly, my biggest lesson, uh, Dorothy Inez is. If I just be still, because I'm that type A person, I got to do it. I got to do it. So I'm going, I need that to come up and I'm reaching for it. And Diego's already on it. It's like, dude, mm -hmm. wait on the Lord. It's going to happen, yeah. yo. You don't have to make it happen. <laughs> wait on the Lord. Take your time. What's this new word? See, I'm like, you're going to have me saying yo all day. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. wait, that's how Rev Skip. I, found, I find myself when I'm doing talks in church or Sunday or, or an inside timer, I'm just like yo all the time. I'm like, baby, I'm yep. just, 
And I learned to be authentic with how I want to present the light that's within me because I try to do it like other people. But what I get to do is I get to show up as Rev Skip and be in the divine beauty that I am. And yeah. speaking of that, if you want to follow me, come to Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, and it's Rev Skip Jennings. You can follow me. Get the get down with the get down. That's what we love to say. We get down with the get down. And also, um, you can take me home and not cook me breakfast. You can catch, come to my website and find more about my book. <laughs> A little. The little book for big transformation. And, you know, um, thank you, Dorothy Inez, for shouting me out last week. But that's the cover, or or this week, that's the cover for the little book for big transformation. And also sign up for my my newsletter, my biweekly. We're trying to figure all this out. Is it going to be biweekly or monthly, whatever? But sign up for the newsletter. We're going to put something out at least once a month, maybe twice a month. Also, I have a spiritual app. It's called The Spiritual Life. All that information is right on skipjennings.com and also get your t-shirts. It's for a good cause. So go to shop Rev Skip, get your t-shirt, get your t-shirt, get your t-shirt. So this has been an amazing interview, two weeks or two, two days and one week of just yes. connecting with you. Thank you. You're so welcome and thank you for having me and thank you for everyone that you know chose to tune in because you could have spent your time somewhere else and I know Rev Skip and I, we just appreciate you being here and for really interacting and I hope to see some of you on my page. Thank you, Diego, for just being <laughs> awesome back there. We appreciate you. Diego makes everything happen. And as we always like to end the show, just a reminder, remember transformation is a choice and you can choose today. Until next Friday, peace and blessings, y'all. Thanks for joining us on today's episode of in the flow. If you enjoyed this programming, please help us spread this joy. Be sure and give this video a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. New Thought Media Network can be found on Facebook or our YouTube channel. Additional contributions are greatly appreciated at ntmedia.org slash donate or find Rev Skip on PayPal and Venmo. Tune in on Fridays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 Mountain, when Rev Skip welcomes a new guest. Until then, faith, love, openness, and willingness keeps us in the flow. network is on the rise we're looking to grow with you do you have technical media experience or perhaps a desire to learn are you willing to volunteer your precious time and attention we share this message to benefit all if you possess a computer with a camera and a microphone we will share our knowledge with you. Behind the scenes or being the star, let us bless our one. Contact us at info at ntmedia.org.